Okay, so today's video is going to be a walkthrough along with sort of like a ritual type thing. Um, I'm going to show you how to cleanse someone's chakras. Uh, you can do this for yourself, however, I'm going to do it for someone else. So, what you're going to need is a crystal for each chakra. For the root chakra, you will need a red jasper. For the solar plexus, you will need tiger's eye. For the throat, you will need blue lace agate. For the crown, you'll need amethyst. For the sacral or the sacral, you'll need carnelian. For the heart, you'll need green adventure. And for the third eye, you'll need lapis lazuli. Okay. So, if you don't have one or some of these crystals, you can look up online different crystals for the chakra. Um, I also suggest that you have either a clear quartz crystal or a selenite crystal because they're really great for cleansing the energies. As far as incense go, you will need frankincense and myrrh. I personally use both at the same time because I cannot stand their individual smells. Plus, they're both great for cleansing. Um, you will need one black candle, two white candles, obviously something to light these candles, and you can either find an oil for each of the chakras or you can use something that has cleansing elements. I'm going to be using a drop of um, creek water on each of the chakras. Also, you will need a personal link from a personal link for the person that the cleansing is for. For me, I have a ring that the both of us have and I'm going to put mine on it but think of the other person instead. You do not use, have to use a doll but if you would like to you can. I've never used this doll before in a ritual so I thought this would be a good time. Alright this doll has all the different chakras and I made it a while back so Let's go ahead and use it. First, I'm going to anoint each of the candles and each of the chakras. I'm thinking about my intention of cleansing this person. Cleanse their root. Cleanse their sacral. Cleanse their solar plexus. Cleanse their heart, cleanse their throat, cleanse their third eye, and cleanse their crown. That's done with, so you can put your oil to the side. Now I'm going to light the incense. I've never had that done before. Um, I don't know if you realize that, but after it lit both of these, the match went out by itself without being blown out. That's crazy. That's never happened to me before. That's interesting. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do now is cleanse the object that is connecting me to that person. <laughs> I'm thinking about that person intently and the types of problems that they've been having and what I want them to have after this cleansing.
Okay. Now, I will light each of the candles. Lighting the black one first. As the black one These are not one in the light. As the black one is ridding of all the negative energy that you're cleansing. And the white ones are to encourage cleansing. The white ones are to um, represent the cleansing, I'm sorry. Put the mat I mean, you can put the matches to the side now because you're done using them. Now, you're going to take um, each crystal starting at the root. I'm placing it on the doll. I'm going to focus on it. The root represents grounding, safety, protection, and stability. Think about how all these areas in the person's life is affected. If they're ungrounded, if they're unsafe, if they're unprotected, and if they're unstable, think about that. Think about how they're this way. And think about how they would be if they were safe, were grounded, were stable, and were protected. As you finish with each crystal, right beside the incense, as the smoke will encourage and activate the cleansing of that chakra. I'm going to move on to the sacral chakra using tiger's eye. The sacral chakra has to do with joyfulness successfulness, abundance, and being sweet. Think about how these areas of their life are affected. If they're depressed, if they're unsuccessful, if they're going through a lack of materialism or a lack of having things, or if they're really rude and harsh. Think about how they would be if these areas of their life were healed and were fixed. it over to the side. Solar plexus. Carnelian. The solar plexus chakra represents energy, power, freedom, and vitality. Think about how these areas of their life are affected and how they would be affected if they gained and healed these parts of their life.
Next, we're going to do the heart, green adventure. This represents love, kindness, caring, and to be centered. Think about how all these different aspects affect their life and how it would affect their life if they were cleansed. The throat. The throat chakra represents honesty, clarity, respectfulness, and understanding. Think about these different elements and how they affect their life. And think about how if they were cleansed, how they would affect their life. Lapis lazuli, third eye. The third eye represents wisdom, intuition, guiding, and able to see their path. Think about how each of these elements are affecting their life and how it would affect their life if they were healed. The crown chakra, amethyst. The crown chakra represents purity, divinate, divine powers, blessings, and wholeness. Think about these different elements and how it affects their life. Once you're finished with that, place the doll on the other side of the incense. Now what you want to do, or what I do, is go through the crystals and cleanse them. One thing I did forget to mention in the beginning is that when you go through the process of cleansing each chakra and placing the stones or imagining the stones as that certain part, you need to imagine the energy that is un like causing these chakras to be unstable for that person. Imagine those energies going into the rock, into the stone, and then once you're finished with healing or taking the energy out of each chakra, you will take the stones, run them through the incense. I think nine times is a good time to go around 
the incense with the stone and then pass it through each of the flames doing the black one last then you place the stone back onto the chakra so we're going to do that And as I said, nine is a great number. So, let these cleansed crystals set for nine minutes. Then, you may remove them, shuffle them up, cleanse their energies, make them whole. You can rest them on a windowsill. However you want to cleanse them, make sure that the crystals can cleanse in that method, however. Another way to cleanse them is to set them between some selenite or to cleanse them with candles. When circulating the crystals around the incense, it cleanses away the negativity. When passing it through each flame, it gets rid of the intention behind the crystal, therefore cleansing it and preparing it for its next use. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope it was very informative. Um, I have done this in the past multiple times, and I'm sure I will do it in the future again. Thank you so much for watching. If you cleanse chakras in another way, please comment down below. If I taught you something today, also comment down below. I really enjoy feedback, and I enjoy whenever you guys also enjoy my videos. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day.